The Israeli Prime Minister has expressed concerns over Palestinian peace efforts amid a visit to the region by Hamas leader Khaled Mishal. Benjamin Netanyahu says Hamas's vow to vanquish the Jewish state vindicates Israeli reluctance to hand over the occupied West Bank. He also used his cabinet meeting to attack the Palestinian president Mahmoud Abbas for failing to condemn Palestinian militant rocket attacks. What's interesting is that he didn't condemn Hamas for calling for Israel's destruction, he said, just as previously he didn't condemn the rockets fired at Israel. And to my regret, Abbas is working for unity with this same Hamas, which is supported by Iran. Mashal has repeated his rallying message, telling students at Gaza University that Israel would never be recognized and promising no concessions over settlement land. Saturday's festivities were a bid to boost Hamas's standings after its eight-day conflict with Israel last month. Mashal's comments appear to have lifted its grassroots support in Gaza. Mashal's visit for Hamas's anniversary is the beginning of the end of division and reconstruction of national unity, this man said. Reconciliation is on its way, as is the end of division. A big effort has been made to end this. There's been little word from Mahmoud Abbas's Fatah movement, but the party has congratulated Hamas over its call for unity.